my dear students this is your accounting coach ard and today i am here with another topic known as petty cash book now before discussing petty cash book i assume that you already are aware of the previous topic that was cash book cash book basically is made in two columns or three columns let us first discuss few of the differences between cash book and a petty cash book a cash book a cash book contain both the cash columns as well as bank columns in a two column cash book there are basically two columns one for cash and another one for bank but in a three column cash book there is an another extra column for discounts on the debit side there is a discount allowed column and the credit side there is discount receive column so basically a cash book deals with both cash a bank and thirdly discount columns as well but the difference between a petty cash book and a cash book is that petty cash book only deals with petty cash now what is petty cash uh, in any business there are huge number of very small tiny transactions for everyday work such as stationery such as traveling expenses and such as for postage and so on so there is uh, our basic person who is handling the cash is known as a cashier so we do not want to disturb our main cashier for these small petty transactions tiny transactions so as to save his time we hire a junior member of the staff known as a petty cashier a petty cashier is given a specific amount of money at the start of each month or maybe at the end of each month and that specific amount of money is known as petty cash float it is uh, spelled as f l o a t petty cash float uh, the system under which this petty cash float is given to the petty cashier the system is known as impressed system i m p r e s t this is also a t in at, at the end of it so the impress system is it that when the main cashier gives a certain amount of cash to petty cashier in order to run his day to day operations and to record in a separate book known as petty cash book in this way our main cashier is saved from the burden of huge number of small many number of small transactions so our main cashier can focus on more senior level of work secondly if there are so many small transactions our cash book get clustered with small uh, huge number of very tiny transactions so that we do not want to our cash book to be disturbed by all of these petty transactions therefore we keep these petty transactions into a petty cash book and only record the totals of them at the end of each month so this was the basic uh, difference between a cash book and a petty cash book in a petty cash book we are only concerned with small uh, cash outflow from petty cash and in the cash book we are dealing with basically larger sums of money in terms of cash or as well as bank so this was the impress system i was talking about in my earlier part of the video now secondly we have now let us discuss the format for petty cash book uh, although this format would be given to you in the examination question uh, ci examination question you do not need to draw the lines the lines and the columns and the rows would be given to you but you need to make the headings uh, now see there are two sides of a petty cash book first of all we may write the heading if it's not already given in the examination question we need to write the name of the owner then petty cash book for the month ending normally we make a petty cash book for each month so each month there is a new sheet need to be made uh, now this is the debit side known as total received and this is the credit side that is total paid if the cash is coming into the business it is the debit side and if the petty cash is going out of the business we are paying for expenses this will be total paid now uh, unlike cash book there is only one column for details as you may remember the cash book in a cash book there were two columns for details one was on the debit side and one another was on the credit side but here there is only one details column because there are very few transactions for received 
all of the transactions are basically for paid now how can we receive the money there are two sources first of all there may be a opening balance in a petty cash book at the start of each month means the closing balance that was left over at the end of the previous month so in this case maybe at the end of may there was some balance remaining that was brought down at the start of june so this was the opening balance that was brought down uh, balance would come on the debit side because it is uh, an asset petty cash or cash it is an asset for the business now what are we going to do we need to uh, reimburse the amount from the cash book this is known as petty cash float for example we have 10 dollar remaining at the start of the month but our petty cash uh, float system or impressed amount requires us to carry hundred dollar at the start of each month means we already have uh, ten dollars and we need ninety dollar more in order to make our impressed uh, loaded to hundred dollars so what we need to do we need to take hundred from the cashier the entry would be petty cash account would be debited so this is the petty cash book we are making this is the petty cash account petty cash account would be debited and the bank or a cash account would be created from the cash book so what are we doing we are transferring money from our cash book to our petty cash book so our main cashier who is running the cash book has given some of the money to us and we are now a petty cashier so petty cashier receives the money this come on the receive side and the reference would be cash or a bank so it's suitable to write bank if nothing is given in the question now whatever expenses are there this means tiny transactions we will write the date for this expense and we will write the nature of the expense and we also need to write in a total paid column that is credit side now what are these columns for these are known as petty cash analysis columns uh, what does this means analysis columns uh, we are making a column for each type of expense in my case there is a car fuel so the fuel or uh, this expense may be relating to motor expense uh, maybe fuel or car repair these are all expenses will come in the motor expense so these headings are not fixed if the uh, examination question specifically says then you need to make analysis column for motor expense one for postage and stationery so we need to write these exact headings and if the examination question does not mentions what analysis column we need to make then we have a choice we can make suitable analysis columns of our choice so in my case i have made a motor expense column for this car fuel then for the stamps uh, I have made postage and stationery. So basically these stamps come in the postage side uh, but there is only one transaction so I made the heading for postage and stationery. This is perfectly well. Now if we are paying money to one of our suppliers to which we owe money and the amount is of small uh, transaction and this is not being paid from uh, maybe cash book so therefore we need to record in this petty cash book now the uh, payment to supplier is not any expense so what we will do we will uh, uh, write in a total paid column as well as we will write in a ledger account column so ledger account basically is a column when we are paying to our suppliers so at the end of the month what we need to do we need to add all these analysis columns and all of these analysis columns should equate to should agree with the total paid column if means if i have paid for example 80 dollars so these three columns should total 80 dollars so i had 10 dollar at the start of the month 90 dollars were received from the main cashier in order to make the float total 200 dollars now out of that hundred dollars i spent eighty dollars so the remaining twenty dollars would be balance cd balance cd always comes at the end of each month now this was spent eighty dollar and this was the remaining twenty dollar so eighty plus twenty will become hundred this is the total and ten dollars plus ninety would also become hundred so these both sides should be equal now this balance carried down would become balance brought down at the start of next month so as i discussed earlier there is only one detail column uh, for debit and as well as credit we will write balance brought down uh, and below this and this balance carried down that was coming on the uh, right side uh, that is credit side would become balance brought down on the debit side or left side 
so this is the balance that remains twenty dollar at the end of uh, at the start of next month uh, then another month uh, then next month what we need to do we need to again receive eighty dollar cash from the main cashier in order to make our impressed or float system again back to hundred dollar so this is basically the concept behind petty cash book now let us uh, solve a question so that we can understand better thank you